<laughs> 5,411 meters. Amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, let's go. This area is so beautiful. So beautiful. Look the river down there. Oh, this is a stunning road. Just stunning. Just look at how beautiful this valley is. Wow. Look at this. This is really why I ride. I just love high mountain passes, curvy roads like this, beautiful pavement. This is a Zen experience, cleansing your mind and soul for all the problems and troubles you have in your life. You just stay focused on one thing, that's the road straight ahead. And nothing else is important right at this second. All right, guys, we're coming up on the summit. 5,400 and some meters altitude. So this must be one of the highest points we have reached on tour yet. So, good morning on day five, or well, riding day five, I should say. And we are making our way from Shikatse onto Damsung, Damsung, which is in north of Lhasa, in the lake area. And uh, we will be getting into some of the high plains here, and hopefully we'll see a lot of yak, wild yak out here on the, on the big flat areas, the big plains. So yeah, look at this sky. You never know if it's gonna give a little rain. Ooh, there's a couple of jet fighters up there. Two jet fighters, wow. But look at the sky, amazing. But hopefully it will give us any water. I like to stay dry today. It is pretty cold. Actually, we have 15 degrees right now, as you can see here on the speedometer. So yeah, don't need to get any colder than that. Yeah, this sky is amazing. Big sky country. With the river here on our left hand side. Oh wow, yeah. This is a nice morning. We've gone up two degrees since my last comment. 17 degrees Celsius. It's very comfortable riding weather. And hope it will stay like that all day long. Just check out this highway system, highway train in behind, and then the normal road. Yeah, this is incredible engineering everywhere. Moving a lot of traffic. All right. Look with the train up behind it. We have our turn off here now. Have to find a gas station. Looks pretty straightforward. Whoa. Beautiful area here. Supposed to be a gas station somewhere here. That's definitely a monk, if nothing else. <laughs> From here, after around 20 to 30 kilometers, there's a fuel station. Okay. So we don't fill up here. All right. So go inside, okay? okay. This area is so beautiful. So beautiful. Look the river down there. Nice little fields on shelves. Very beautiful. I wonder if people live in these kind of like high-rise buildings there or what. Oh, the 
they live out in individual housing. Let's see if there's a gas station in this town and I think it's about time to have a break. If nothing else, maybe just a ass stretcher. is a stunning road just stunning Temperature is 15 degrees, it's acceptable. I can ride my IT gloves, which means I can actually manipulate my phone with these gloves on. And it's still not too cold, especially because there's heated grips on this BMW. And uh, I can ride my visor up, just sunglasses on, which is what I prefer to get the wind straight in my face. But if it gets much colder than this, then it's not much, not much fun. Go all the way up to the top. Wow. Rough life out here, but uh, beautiful scenery. Can't imagine living here in the winter time when this gets covered in snow. You gotta prepare everything during the summer, fall season, get wood and everything to the house to warm it up. See all the houses have big stacks of firewood They're sitting there drying up. Oops, there's a couple of cows. Yeah, this is just a very beautiful canyon. That's a little mountain village. Every day life goes on. The little three wheelers, construction, everything happens outdoor. People live out and about in the mountains. Rough life for sure. Look at these girls carrying home water. Yeah. Construction, machinery everywhere. Big trucks, cement blocks, everybody is constantly improving on their housing and their facilities. They're working the fields around the houses. You can definitely, you cannot blame these people for not working. They just seem to be in constant movement, whether it's taking care of cattle up on the hillside, straightening out a river, improving the roads. It's incredible how much is going on everywhere, all the time. Just look at how beautiful this Valley is, is wow. Yeah. So Pat and Julia behind us. Out through this beautiful canyon valley. And we will reach a pass today of 5,400 meters, so this will be a new record. I guess on any of our trips, that will be the highest. It's even higher than Mount Everest Expedition Base Camp. 
look at these rock formations. And you gotta wonder for how many hundreds of centuries people have been living up here and working these fields, these rough conditions. It's definitely not for the faint-hearted. Just stunning. Look like cave holes up there. Oh, there's a rock in the road. This looks like a military truck. Yeah, check this out. We're coming up on 4,900 soon. We should make it to over 5,400 meters in this pass. So we still got a way up there, but look at that down. Wow. And up ahead, you see all the way up there. But we got almost 600 well yeah 600 altitude meters more 500 sorry yeah keeps going up 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 Ooh. here we got bunch of yakis I think yeah look at that Nice. Bunch of yaks down there. Here we go. Little yaks. Look at the road down there. Woohoo! Just zigzagging, zigzagging down. Beautiful and fun. And up there is a Julian. Patrick doing their best filming the whole trip <laughs> look at this this is really why I ride I just love high mountain passes curvy roads like this beautiful pavement this is a Zen experience cleansing your mind and soul for all the problems and troubles you have in your life you just stay focused on one thing that's the road straight ahead and nothing else is important right at this second oh let's go these mountains are so spectacular just coming off a 5,000 meter pass. Yet another one I should say. We've had a fair share of plus 5,000 meter altitude passes on this trip so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's see. If we're gonna get the 5,400 meter pass, which would be a new record. And look at all the yaks there. Long haired buddies. Kind of skinny here. Now we're coming up on a little intersection down here. Gonna do a little stop. And then. Maybe we can go chase some yak while we wait for the support van to catch up. Look, there's a couple of guys out there with their yaks. Wow, look at this. Look at the 
these mountains right here. Pretty breathtaking. We got yak over there, yak over there. Snow-capped mountain peaks right here. I believe this is up to 7,700 meter peaks. You can see here on the map. Just stunning. I think I've said that quite a bit on this video until now. But it really is breathtaking to ride here in the upper plateau of Tibet, the terminus region in the Himalaya mountains. All right, guys, we're coming up on the summit. 5,000. 400 and some meters altitude so this must be one of the highest points we have reached on tour yet 5411 meters wow let's go up a little higher here to the prayer flags and I will measure it on my own GPS and see how high we really are. <laughs> 5,411 meters. Amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Five thousand four hundred and eleven official meters. It was five thousand four hundred and forty-seven on my GPS. So let's see now. We're going down on these amazing curves here. And look at the cliffhanger off here to the side. Very nice road. Let's see if we get some good shots with the 360 camera on my rear of Pat and Julie. Now we're coming down into the curves. Just stunning. And I have seen some pretty stunning mountain passes in my lifetime. This is definitely up there. Look at this almost almost 360 turn right here. That's fun. Just gonna do a full almost 360 here. That's awesome. The pad is right there. Love it. Riding day five, and we are at the Holy Goat Manor Hotel in Damsung. Tomorrow we're gonna go up to the lake, but uh, hopefully this will be a good night rest. Last night was so-so, and that's it for today. So take it easy.